hi guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time tuning in welcome don't forget to smash that subscribe button for me so this clown this washed up rapper cameron did an interview with cnn's host abby phillip and it went left after he was asked about the diddy and cassie video beatdown Cameron lied about not knowing Diddy like that, but I'm going to show you that he knows Diddy very well. But first, check out this embarrassing interview. Is there something known in the industry about how Diddy treated his artists? So I'm going to get some cheeks after this horsepower joint. Um... I'm just going off what Mace said. Mace took me to Biggie. I don't really know Puff is like Mace no Puff. So I appreciate what Mace said. And of course, uh, that's my brother. So if he felt that way, then he felt that way. I can't really tell you how Puff moves or anything like that. Mace may know better than me because he was signed to Puff. I wasn't. But my show does come on at 8 a.m. Eastern on YouTube. It's called It Is What It Is. And y'all make sure y'all check it out. I mean, I might get some more information out of Mace from there. But for me to tell you, Mm. How Puff acting and all that? I don't know. I never was signed to him. Yeah. What about the industry in general? I mean, so many people have pointed out that Diddy couldn't get away with this stuff if there weren't a lot of people protecting him. Do you think that's the case? Who the talent agent for this joint? Like, you think I'll be sitting around watching what Diddy do and all this? I didn't know this was a Diddy joint that all invited me to. Yo, who, yo, who booked me for this joint? All right. Oh, wow, and I don't be sitting Cameron. around watching Diddy and all that. Yeah, thanks. Man, come on, man. This thanks for crazy, joining man. us. Thank you for your time tonight. Yeah, yeah, yo, thank, yo, thank you for having me. You enjoy. Ew, I cringed when he said he was going to get some cheeks after swallowing the drink. Did you see his fingers all shaking? <laughs> Doesn't he look like Mr. Potato Head? Look at him. This guy's a whole clown. He knew what the topic was. He knew what the interview was about. He knew the questions. They always tell you in advance about the topic, even some of the questions. They tell you every time. But he just wanted to use that platform to push some libido, stamina, pink power nonsense to people. If you would eat healthy, if you would stop smoking and drinking, you wouldn't need all that. His name couldn't sell that pink power mess. His platforms could not sell that pink power mess. He needed CNN's platform to sell. Now, all of a sudden, he's saying that he sold out. Yeah, sure, buddy. Business 101. If you say that a product is sold out, it's going to make people want to buy it because they're going to think it must be good. That's why it's sold out. Business 101. <laughs> I wouldn't trust that mess. People like to put their names on things and then push it to people. Listen, three years from now, five years from now, you have all these issues, these health issues, and you don't know where it's coming from. So I don't know. But let's get back on track. So this whole, I didn't know this was a ditty joint that you invited me to. Who booked me for this joint? Dude, cut it out. He didn't have to embarrass that pretty lady like that. She did not deserve that. No, she did not. But she handled herself very well. She seems so sweet. I had to look her up. She's married and she has a beautiful family. She did not deserve that. What a freaking clown. She was so professional. He could have politely said no comment. But that would have been too mature for a clown like him. He's been cool with Diddy for a long time. Just last year, March 2023, he hints at joining Diddy's revolt empire. The Dipset rapper and bad boy mogul hung out together in Miami over the weekend. Okay? Look at this. Look at this. He said, Mace gave me permission to go. And look, he, uh, he tagged Diddy. And look, heart emojis. One, two, three, four, five heart emojis. Oh, boy. <laughs> he owns a podcast, a YouTube podcast with Mace. Mace 
has been at odds with Diddy over the years due to money. Dating back to his days as a bad boy artist. Diddy doesn't pay his artists, right? Right? So, if you said you don't know Diddy like that, and you said Mace knows Diddy like that, why would you want to go and try to get your podcast that you have with Mace on Revolt? <laughs> he claims that Mace is a very close friend of his, but yet he wanted to take their podcast to Diddy, Mace's enemy? Come on. Does it make sense? So if Diddy owes Mace millions, why would you want to do business with a man that your friend is enemy with? He didn't pay Mace and other artists, but you so sure he's going to pay you? Is that, I mean, why would you want to get on his platform? That's because you're so sure he's going to pay you. He's not going to do you like the rest. Is it because you guys have a different friendship? I mean, come on, make it make sense. Because if you're saying you don't know him like that, and you're saying Mace knows him like that, then why would you, like, man, listen. Cameron is full of it. Cameron knows Diddy, Okay. So guess what? Cameron went and hung out with Diddy again the following month, April 2023. And Mace took to Instagram on April 19th to poke fun at Cam for having the zip on his jeans undone while hanging out with Puff. He tagged Cameron and said, I signed off on you going over there, but not to have your zipper down. I thought you better than that. And look, that post has been deleted. Cameron deleted this post, okay? It was just there two days ago. It was up, and now it's gone. But you know what? Shout out to Hip Hop DX. I found a clip. I found a video. And I'm going to play it for you guys. Check this out. Here right now, Harlem's only in the house. Like Harlem, yeah. baby. Harlem, 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 Harlem. Check this out, pink horsepower. Yeah. What does it do, Cam? I can't tell you exactly what it do, but you gonna have a lot of fun with your ladies, baby. I'm <laughs> down to you that, for a fact. Uh-oh, you're strong? That's, yeah, that's that shit where you can't open the top, so you know it's that work. Oh, no, you see Yeah, you know it's that word sealed. It's sealed. Can't, if you know the children can't get to it, I got to open up my mm -hmm. own, B. I ain't see you open that. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't see you open that. Shake, shake it up. Shake it up. Wow. I can't tell you exactly what it do, but you're going to have a lot of fun with your ladies, baby. Come on. He's giving SEX enhancement to a well-known abuser and his son. Justin is being sued as well for, you know, as trafficking of women, all wording women, even Christian. He's not in the clip, but Diddy and his two sons are being, are being sued for all wording, abusing women and as trafficking. And this clown is giving SEX enhancement to a well-known abuser. Let me tell you something. Diddy, behind the scenes, everyone knows Diddy's reputation. He has a reputation. But the thing is, he has money to cover it up for the public not to see it. But behind closed doors, he was not hiding who he was. He was not hiding it. Everyone, even if you did not hang out with Diddy, you knew his reputation. Okay? Cameron knew his reputation. Again, Diddy did not hide who he is. This guy was so out of control, he did not give a damn. Okay? Anybody could get it with this guy. He didn't give a damn. This guy enjoyed terrorizing people, smacking people around like other men, beating men up, women up. He didn't give a damn. Legends, icons, he didn't care who you were. His anger, his, his issues were so out of control. He couldn't even hide it, even if he tried. 
and he enjoyed putting fear in people. That's the power. He enjoyed that kind of power. He had the money. So he didn't give a damn how you felt. He would treat you like crap. He don't care. He got the money to like to make you get on your knees and kiss his ring. Don't you get that? So don't listen to these people that said, oh, I didn't know. I didn't know. No, everyone, even if you didn't hang out with Diddy, you know. Believe me. Because I knew and I didn't hang out with Diddy. <laughs> you know what I mean? And look, look at this. Comedian Jay Faro also issued a warning to Cameron. Don't drink the Ciroc, bruh. You see what I mean? They always joked about this. And I don't know why they would joke about it. And then it's like they knew. But they always would joke about this, about Diddy, not, you know, be careful around Diddy. But yet they kept their mouth shut because they are controlled by money. These puppets are controlled by money. That's why Diddy was able to control them, every one of them, because of money. If they didn't care for money, they wouldn't, they would have been gone. They stuck around, they kept quiet because they were controlled by money. And Diddy knew that. That's why he was able to get away for so long. That's why he didn't give a damn. He wasn't trying to hide it. He was so reckless. He was so careless. He didn't give a damn, okay? Because money is power with these people who loves money. They worship money. That's their God. Money is their God, okay? So, yeah, Cameron better hope that no one comes out. He better hope that he has no skeleton in his closet because... That stunt that he pulled wasn't funny, and yeah, he's a clown, and he needs to grow up. Thank you guys for tuning in. You guys are awesome. Please like, please share, please subscribe for more, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.